Oh, I really don't wanna have to do this right now. This is Mr. Ilu, welcome me back to Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Today, we're going to my least favorite area in the game, the Guar Har Lagoon. <coughs> Sorry about that. Let's take this pro's block first. This the reason I hate this place? Just like in the last part. One, I cannot remember the layout for the life. Two, it is very annoying puzzles. And three, just... You know what? I don't need to mention anything anymore. This level, I just hate it. But, make sure, absolutely, you get this pipe if you need it. Both that settled. Turn that... There we go. That sounds better. If I just talk a little louder. Let's see. Can we head down? No, we can't. Maybe... Nope. Checking for a who bean, possibly. Well, those people probably don't have anything interesting, so let's head over here. Huh? Oh my gosh! What's going on? Strange shining bean thing. Uh-oh. Who's Hermie? What's going on? Yeah, probably. Oh boy. Well, apparently someone named Hermie has our piece of the bean star, but how are we gonna get it back? Good question. Yeah. This place? Not fun. That's all I can say. Well, the first thing we gotta do is head up. And this is required, I believe. Yes, it is. First, let's do this. Random block. Get as many coins as we feel like. And I apologize for commentary, but I am still tired after waking up. Oh my gosh. There we go. Alright, let's head in here to... Where is this? What is this place? Massage. This is a massage parlor or something? Relaxation room. A hundred coins gets one, so we need two hundred. Uh, sure. Let's pour our coins on top of you. Alrighty. Ooh, some massage chairs, apparently. Oh my gosh. Jellyfish? Ugh. I just hope they weren't rhyming there. Oh boy. Well, I guess we have been so tired. What's going on, though? Nice going. You just triggered his firebrand. <laughs> and you're triggering the Thunderhand! Uh, no we are not. Why are you going so fast? Two very special hand techniques? Sure. Incredible. Oh my gosh! They're capturing us! No, this is required. <coughs> what do you want now? Here first. Alright, I'm gonna super speed through this intro, and then I will just explain it once we gotten everything done. So, basically, with the back one, now we get to make use of our hand, and this time they won't just get mad. Instead, Mario's gonna get shocked and we can strafe. So let's back up like that. <coughs> no, I thought she said Bowser for a second. Okay, yes, I know what to do. And look what this does. Boom! Alrighty, 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 alrighty. Wanna hit that rock? So, get Mario on the back this time, and use Fire Tickle, and boom! 
Yes, I believe the appropriate names of these are Fire Tickle and Thunder Tickle. But, just like with the hammer techniques and the jump techniques, we can't leave just in case. We can't leave right now. Yep, we need to get two pearl beans. Oh my gosh! 100,000 coins if we don't. Yeah, we don't have that money. So, we should get those beans. Let's head through here first. What do we got? Okay, this is the only path. We got left and right. Let's take left first. Okay, now we can finally use those boo statues. As you can see, they always disappear when you look at them. So if we do like we did with the green jellyfish person, we thunder tickle and strafe right into the back of it. And there we go. And now that we can do that with all the other boo statues around. But I probably won't be showing everyone. Just because for pur time purposes and for sanity purposes. And there we go again. Let's head on to the next phase. Ugh. This is what I hate. Hey, what the? Okay, there we go. What we have to do is quickly use Thunder Tickle and then strafe in between the steel logs and not get killed. Yeah, this is annoying. From years of experience doing this, I'm still not that good at it. And that was just that. And for doing that, we get the green pearl, and we get automatically transported all the way back here. Now, to get the red pearl. I wonder where we're going to have to use this time. How about we use Fire Tickle, and watch this. BAM! Yeah, we can finally knock down those big turtles. Die finally knock those down if we want to. But also, notice these logs are going much too fast for us to either walk through or to use Thunder Tickle. But what you have to do, time it right, and go! And there we go. And we got the Red Pearl Bean now. And there we go. And they stay down there forever, and we'll never see them again. Now let's finally head on to the real Guarhar Lagoon. After this guy. Boom! I'm gonna have to do that every time. I just love knocking those guys over. Okay, now we got some enemies to deal with, finally. Apparently we got a new Troopia enemy. What, what are these? The Elite Troopias. Yeah, let's just kill these normally. Nothing that big to deal with. And I'll hold off on Swing Bros Advance for now until I get a strong enough enemy to be able to test that on. Yeah, with these enemies, not really worth it. Especially if we're doing lucky all the time. What are you gonna do? Oh man, that's a lot faster. Let's take care of you then. Alrighty. Another? My gosh. But yes, as you can see already from that yellow pipe, we're not just going through Guajar Lagoon, we have to go in and out of the ocean SEVERAL times. I don't enjoy that. So we got more cheap, cheap enemies over here. Now let's see if I can show off Swing Bros... ...Vance. I know how to do it, so let's put on... Let's do the slowest version, for now. X, then A, and then mash... Oh, I missed it. Crud. Okay, what you're supposed to do is you press A as Luigi's coming back to Mario, and then you mash A and B. But as you can see, we also got more new bros techniques. Thunder and Fire Bros. These are interesting. I believe you have to wait. X, X, X. Or B, B, B. No A in that. It basically hits all enemies on the field. Which is very nice, actually. Wow. Okay, so you're going for Mario or Luigi twice. That was weird. But anyway, getting Thunder Bros Advance isn't the most necessary thing in the world, but Fire Bros Advance is amazing. Just trust me on that. As you can see what Thunder Bros also does, it lowers their defense, which is amazing. If you advance Fire Thunder Bros, it lowers their offense. Now let's see if I can do this again. And I missed that again. 
Oh, for Pete's sake. I just... You know, I really like to show off Swing Bros. Advance once. Then wait till you get down, and then mash A and B. And you can steal items. Very nice to do. And in fact, some enemies have quite rare items that you can only get by using Swing Bros. Advance. Oh, there's another new one, the Mecha Blooper. Um, I'm just gonna kill this thing right now. Yeah, I failed that, but still. Now let's show Fire Bros. Wait, first let's put that back down. Then let's go to Fire Bros. Advance. This is interesting. You gotta mash A- I did that wrong, but what you do is you mash A at the beginning, and then you keep hitting B every time to hit the fireballs back at the enemy. And I didn't mash enough, so I didn't get excellence. And the thing's gonna become a puffer, and let's just finish it off with a hand technique. Yeah. And Luigi got a level up, awesome. How? Sure. I'll take it. And another. Come on. Okay, knockback. Uh, I failed that, but it still worked. Let's go for Fire Bros again. This time, mashing it. I can mash a lot more on a keypad, and I. S That's what happens if you screw up. Ugh, why Puffer Cheeps? It's giving me bad flashbacks in Mario Pinball Land now. Uh, let's use it again. I'll just keep shooting the fireballs back over and over. Once we get advanced, it's a little bit tricky, but if you can pull off, it is amazingly powerful. But, it's a pretty boring bros technique if you just do that every time. And let's just finish this off with a thunder hand. And Mario gets a level up now. Let's go for POW. Three, I'll take it. Okay, let's head this way first for some items. You know what? Yeah, let's have little Mario up front. Just what I'm used to. And a Who Bean! Awesome! I still need more of those. Good point, actually. How many more of those do I need? I need 12 more of those, and then I can finally get the final item. The best accessory in the game, probably. Alright. Let's use this... This water spout functions just as any other spin jump. But as you can see, we can't get over there right now. But we can, obviously, get up here. And let's fight this cheap cheap. Um, yeah, let's keep using Thunder Bros as often as we can. It's very nice. For the soul factor that lowers their defense. I'm gonna be using it a lot once we get back into the actual Guarher Lagoon. Yeah, this episode is probably just gonna consist of the ocean. Um, I thought I put that like that. There we go. And let's go fire bros on the cheap cheap. Yeah, this is just gonna be an episode of me practically spamming the bros techniques, going for advance. Thunder bros advance only hits one enemy. Fire bros advance does two, but it is insanely powerful if you can pull it off correctly. And... There we go. Yeah, no excellent on that either. I don't know how you can get excellent. Oh boy, oh boy. And we should be able to just finish these guys off through jumps now, now that their defense has gone down so much. Or not. And I could screw that up, too. And they have to attack again, and this is just making this video take forever. I'm getting tired, so I'll just use a super nut. And kill it. There we go. And we already are out of this area of the ocean. Mario, go on the- go on the pipe! What the heck? Okay. What's going on? Seriously, what's going on? Mario, get in the pipe! Thank you, my gosh. Let's get out of here. Okay, save point if you need it. We're not ending quite yet, it's only been 14 minutes. Okay, here's where we're finally putting these back into use, but first... I want to... recover BP for... upcoming enemies. Alright, let's wait for that one to pass, and go! Uh, also, it this doesn't last forever. 
So you have to be kind of fast. Go. Alright. There we are. And now we got a fire tickle spot now. Wait for an opening and go! Nope. So you can still mess up on this one. Even though I think this one is a lot easier. And... Wow. Go. Oh, come on! And there we go. Still Elite Troopius. I believe Thunder and Fire Rolls won't do like any damage to them. But as you can see back there, we've got an upgrade. To we've got another Gritty Goomba, just a different color, I guess. So let's use Fire Rolls on that. Just try to advance it. Yeah, I can tell Fire Rolls is going to take up a lot of time, but if I can get advance, it's probably going to be my most overused Rolls technique next to Chopper and Splash. Speaking of Splash, I haven't used that in an extremely long time. It is really good, actually. Later on, that can become very powerful. Yeah, as you can see, Thunder Bros only did one damage to both of them. And they just heal each other, and... They can all... Elite Trubias can also revive their allies. It's annoying. So... Let's kill them. I can worry about the Gritty Goomba later on. And as for these versions of the Gritty Goombas, as you can see... You can't tell who they're going to go after as easily as the ones in Tiki Valley. And just more of these guys. Yeah, definitely kill the Elite Troopius first. I forgot to mention that because they do revive their allies. Unlike the other ones where they just healed. Oh my... Yep! And then they'll just keep respamming, healing over and over and over again until this battle goes on forever. I can't stand it. What I'm hoping is that he revives the Gritty Goomba if it ever dies. Oh, you jerk! Alright. And let's finish off the Desert Goomba. The Desert Toomba. And already another level up, my gosh. Yeah, that is why the gre the bonus... What is it? The bonus ring. Whatever it is. The double Z XP. Uh, we need HP, badly. That's... That wasn't my definition of good HP, but... Oh well. Let's do that, and to make sure it won't come back, let's just take care of it with- WHAT?! Okay, I guess even hammer techniques do nothing to those guys, and you can still do the same shell hopping things with these guys. I am really running off things to talk about, apparently. Do that, and that one goes too. And there we go. Let's head on to the next spot. Oh, Gritty Goombas now. I'd rather not go- Oh, Boomerang Bros! Finally! We've got Boomerang Bros here, but let's use the Fire Bros on the Gritty Goomba. As I believe the Boomerang Bros are actually weak to one of our elements, and I believe it's Thunder. But for now, let's just keep hammering these fireballs at the Gritty Goomba. So many. My gosh. There we go. And now, let's see if I was right. One... Two, three. Nope. I was wrong. Okay. As you can see, when he flashed, he's going after Mario. But you can never tell how they're going to throw it, I don't think. Let's see if they're weak to fire. But both their defenses are down still, which is very nice. Okay, they absorb fire. That's what I remember now. They absorb fire. Yeah, now we finally have enemies that are going to absor be absorbing those. Ugh. It's going to get annoying pretty fast. But I think we've practically seen all the new enemies that there are in Guajar Lagoon. Unless we get ambushed by more of these guys. Let's lower all their defenses. There we go. And let's attack the Boomerang Bro. Awesome. And looks like Mario. And what about you? Looks like Luigi. Yep. And let's just hammer them both out. I think I'm gonna start going for longer episodes now just because these battles take a lot of time. Or starting soon I am just gonna be cutting the battles because they just end up taking way too long at times. So let's see, we can't go over there yet. As you can see, we're still making practically no progress here. Now this is an interesting little factor here. 
what we have to do with this platform is spin jump into it. And then high jump on top of it. And there we go. So let's head over here. And we got a rally block if you so want it. I don't need it. Now, remember this spot for later on, so let's head left first. Now we got a boo statue and a lot of gritty Goombas. Alright, I cleared off every gritty Goomba on screen. There were like five of them, so I didn't want to have to deal with all those jerks right now. Let's see what paths we can take here. Hmm. What's over here? Oh my gosh. New flying ducks or something? Let's find out what they are in a second. What are they gonna do? Oh my gosh! Evil shark. And I screwed that up. Yeah, the deal with one the with these is that one's a shark, one is a fish. The shark you jump, the fish you don't. But I have no idea which one I just killed since I wasn't paying attention. But luckily, you have a little bit of time to find out. Let's take care of that. And we have one more. Actually, we have a couple more, I think. Get rid of the Boomerang Bro. And let's use Thunder Bros on these guys. Take that. Oh, one went down already. That must have been the shark, I guess. And do that. And there we go. I believe there's one more. Yes. Oh, three of them! Ugh, I don't like that. Let's go with Thunder Bros, then. There's always only one shark, I believe. Or we could just kill them all outright. And Luigi got another level up. I'm getting level ups like crazy now. And for a majority of the portion of the game now, I think I'm just going to be sticking with power. Just because. Well, here's another entrance to the underwater. But I think we'll hold that off. So next time we will continue on with my least favorite area of the game. Go underwater a few more times. And hopefully wrap this up in two more parts. This is Mr. Iolu, and I will see you next time.